so in this video I'm going to show you a little bit of troubleshooting for WordPress and let's say for example you installed a new plugin and it was causing errors on your website or you change a certain file on your website um, and now it's causing these errors uh, for your website you can't see things you get a white screen whatever it may be in this situation I installed a plugin uh, the iTheme security plugin and one thing that it allows us to do I actually did a tutorial on this is how you can change I guess the login information uh, for your website generally if we remember hopefully you guys can see this up at the top um, it's your domain uh, doc domain slash WP dash admin right but with the iTheme security plugin you're allowed to change that so that maybe it'll be harder for uh, potential hackers to log in right but the issue for me is that I actually forgot what that what I changed it to right I couldn't remember if it was uh, my domain slash login slash editor whatever it may be and so I'm getting this not found arrow 404 error message right but I know exactly where the problem is I know it's in the iTheme security just like probably some of you guys if you just recently installed a plugin and then your website crashed well you know exactly where that problem may be um, but you just don't know how to get to it right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna log into our file manager um, and this is specific for HostGator if you if you don't have a file manager for your hosting client um, then you just do it through FTP general FTP access right so get all the information to log into your FTP of your uh, website go into the public HTML and then go into WP dash content uh, and then go into plugins because specifically we know uh, which plugin is the issue and what you're gonna do is, is a couple things so the first thing you want to do is you want to find that plugin that is causing the problem if it is in fact a plugin and remember I mentioned it's called iThemes well the other name for it is also better WP security I guess that was the original name so what I went ahead and did is I just compressed it right click and then there should be a compress right there so you just compress it uh, and then it'll be down here and then we'll just delete it so we'll just delete our plugin and it'll be erased from there and now we're just gonna assume like the plugins not even there so we'll be able to log in like normal hopefully if everything works well right so we're able to see that um, in fact everything did work well um, and let me just log in really quickly and so what we're going to do now is we can do two things. If we want to reinstall the plugin, we can go ahead and do that. Um, let's see if the plugin is actually still there. It may or may not be. Probably it wouldn't be in my, uh, yeah. So it's not going to show up here. Let's see what happens when we do eventually uncompress it, right? So we can extract it now and we'll extract the files. Always make sure of what path it's going to show up in. And let's refresh the plugins and let's see if it's going to show up so yeah it is in fact installed and we're just going to have to reactivate it and so now you can just change whatever settings it is that you needed to change